Hey everyone, it's Everything Eep here, and in today's video, I am going to, sorry, I was, <laughs> I was troubleshooting OBS. I'm going to be taking a look at the first version of Chrome. Now, you know, Google Chrome, it's the browser pretty much, I mean, most people, because I don't, are using. And, but th this is literally the origins of Google Chrome, you can see I've got an insane amount of browsers. I've got like three freaking browsers on this virtual machine. We're going to look at the earliest version of Google Chrome, which is 0.2.1 um, for now. So, yeah, this is my first impression, by the way. And it looks different. A lot different. It, it's very, you know, like, distinguished from the later versions of Google. So, let's, let's just see what happens if I go to Google. I think I realize I'm using Chrome. We're going to go to HTML5 test to begin with already before like one minute in the video and this version came out in 2008 and of course it's giving me this because it doesn't know what it is so we're just gonna tell it to go keep in mind Chrome doesn't work on XP anymore regardless so um it doesn't matter if um every website is just gonna say the same error is that it's not going to like if I go to YouTube right now it's working. Okay, maybe not every website, but a lot of them. And of course, it's trying to benchmark um, thing right now. Oh, and I realized it's secure. Not. I don't even know, guys. It's very, um, it's you know, very broken, and <laughs> it scores a measly 25, 21 points out of 555. To compare that. Um, the latest version of Brave scores 504 more points than this. That means it has 504 more things it can do than thing. And as you can see, every, pretty much a lot of things are broken. Websites are never going to work. Well, not never, never, but pretty much going to be stuck. So that it only supports 21 of these things. And um, so let's go back to YouTube here. I bet YouTube is not even going to play. This was different on um, back in 2008 when Chrome came out because, you know, it was new and also in Microsoft had been dealing with the worst lawsuit they had for a few years, which was um, the one that they had with the United States government in 2004 over Internet Explorer 6. People were just looking for a new browser. As you can see, YouTube is entirely broken here. Um, a lot of websites are going to be broken. Like, that's just YouTube. Let's try... Uh, <clears throat> What should I try? Oh yeah, Facebook. This is an older website with an older design, and um, yeah, see, same thing. It's just saying that. Oh, that was the wrong one. I clicked. All right, go back to Facebook. Boom. Let's see. Mm. Again, it's really just doing it again. Mm proceed anyway. They have all reason to suspect Facebook is bad. Mm. Facebook's an older website, so it should work. I mean, it's not gonna work, work, but I look that close there. And, yeah, it's entirely broken. I mean, literally, I don't have, I mean, I do have a Facebook account, but I forget it's login, so I'm not gonna log in. Literally everything's broken. Let's go to old.reddit. Reddit Red came around the same time as um, Chrome did. And this is secure, thankfully. <laughs> it's still broken. This is the old Reddit, by the way. And somehow it's still, you know, it's just broken everywhere. It's just a really, really bad browser to use now, but the concept then was pretty ingenuous. I mean, one unified. So for the longest time, these two browsers, Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox, did not have a unified search bar. And this is where Chrome, this is where Google found their strength, is by making a unified search bar that allowed you to plug in website links and search through Google through it. And eventually, you know, these browsers would, I mean, Internet Explorer obviously wouldn't. They'd stop being updated in 2015. But Microsoft Edge, which is Internet Explorer's uh, successor, did. And, you know, if we go to about Google Chrome here, it's obviously going to say, um, you know, this, right? And their updated servers are not available, obviously. 
and um, there's options and this looks very different from modern chrome option modern chrome options is the tab but this is just um, this other one under the hood what the heck does that mean uh, as well as that there's also the chrome spelling it wrong Fifth store and searching through Bing oh my god Microsoft what are you doing alright correction I'm going to Google Extensions are programmed to run on this old version of Chrome. Uh, so, oh, looks like the web state's still loading. Or it's just completely broken. I think the latter. Yeah, this website is entirely broken. Pretty much every website on this thing is going to be broken. 9 to 5 Mac, which is a website I frequently use for testing, doesn't even work. It doesn't even give you like one of those security problems or something, even though 9 to 5 Mac came up. also um yeah so but it's still really cool they have this floating taskbar which i mean floating bookmark bar which i wish they still had and it looks pretty awesome uh and uh i wish a bookmark bar which that's actually sweet the the animation between those two <laughs> this looks so nice history so you can see everywhere where you have gone. I I never installed it yesterday in the 14th, but somehow it thinks I have downloads. Switch your downloads. Although I doubt you're gonna be downloading anything in this version of Chrome. In the end, I think it's a really, really cool version and um, it really set the stage for what Chrome would become. I mean got like Chrome became such a huge browser and you know became like more than just that. I bet Wikipedia would not work. Um but yeah, so this was really just the baby, I guess. It was the starting of um Chrome and how it would grow to become the world's biggest browser. I mean now Chrome has the most network and that share, right? But before it just used to be a simple, you know, thing website. This uh, just used to be a simple browser people could use. And um, compared to Firefox, it was very battery efficient. Uh, so Chromebooks were actually the reason why Netflix ever sold, and eventually Chromebooks. Um, uh, but Firefox was a huge battery and CPU drainer. Um, well, Chrome it was very efficient. Now, Chrome just hogs all the memory, really. It's very... very oh, you can report broken websites. I have. I should do that a lot. And yeah, now Chrome is just really, really like a memory hog and I mean it's not very enjoyable as much now anymore as it used to be. But it's still pretty cool. Um so if you like this video, I know it was kinda short, well not really. But if you did, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.